new polls have just come in on uh, whether if you think the country's going in the right direction or the wrong direction, or if it's on the right track or the wrong track. And Biden's numbers right now are about 70% of the people believe that the country's on the wrong track. Well, of now, course. anytime a candidate flipped the party and won it from another, another presidency, it was always because of those numbers got over 50% wrong track. That is half of America thinks that we're on the wrong track with Joe Biden. That's over the economy. That's not going to change by November. It's over for Biden. The only question now on this ex candidate is to ask who are the Democrats going to replace them with? Right. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Let's talk about just the abject failure of Biden as he slobbers and embarrasses himself in public once again, he saying slobbers. that he's proud to have stood next to a black man. Is that uh, any black people out there super impressed with that, that Biden is finally willing to stand by a black man? Look, we were told if he's indicted, that's it. Well, he had four indictments. That wasn't it. He continued to rise in the polls. We were told if there's a mugshot, that's it. That wasn't it. This is about all the people, all the Real fast. My bad. I, mean, I didn't know what you were calling. I was shaking my head. I was in another place. I'm like, just like, bro, how ancient is this? The mindset of him is just so dated. I cannot. Okay, let's keep listening. This is the same man that said it's 10 times harder for a black person to get a job over a white person. <sighs> Naysayers against Trump, which fine. Some people have their doubts. I did not, only because when they said that he's going to get a mug shot, they didn't realize that Trump's message is penetrating into the general public. So anyways, all these newscasters are going, they're responding to the polls that got it all wrong because they forgot to cook into the account that people in general think Trump is being hunted by the Democrats. Exactly. They're told if the court case began, that's it. It hasn't been it. He's continued to rise in the polls. And he's going to continue to rise in the polls. Yes. These yeah. Yeah. economic problems and the race problems that Biden have will not be fixed in five months. No. This knowledge poll is this. What are you closely following the news on? Mm -hmm. Well, 65% said they're closely following inflation. All the way at the bottom under immigration and all these other issues is 42% who are following the trial. So people in general are not that interested in the trial. Overall, they're more interested in inflation. Like I said before, what is Biden going to do to turn inflation around? He has no options. The other thing is you'll see Biden how, how desperate he was because Trump is doing so well during these court cases. It's kept him, Trump, going out on the street and talking to people on the street, yes. shaking hands with the common man. Right. And that's why Biden pulled the trigger and begged De Niro to go out on the streets on his behalf. And, 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 wow. and get shot at New York Street. They yelled at that man it's too. Biden conceding going, I wanna be like Trump. If Trump goes out on the street and talks to the people, I gotta get one of my side to go out to the people. <sighs> Of course, De Niro totally backfired on it. Look at that yeah. doubling of support for Donald Trump from 10% up to 21%. Boris, Brianna, if that held through the election, it would be the best performance for Republican presidential candidate among black voters in 64 years since Richard Nixon. That's black voters coming out for Trump. Biden thought, you know what? The Democrats said, we're going to throw the blacks. We're just going to throw them under the bus. It's We're all done with them. Okay, we need to bring in some Hispanics from over the border. Mm -hmm. um, we need to get some of our border people in here. And the, his and the blacks just said, you have been lying to us all this time. Yeah. And they turned away from numbers are going to Trump. If you want to break down the black electorate and figure out where exactly is this declining support for Joe Biden coming from, take a look at this age no. breakdown. Look here. If you look at those black voters age 50 and over, they're still overwhelmingly supporting Joe Biden. Look at that, 85% to 8%. But it's the look young at people. black voters the under the people. age of 50. Donald Trump in a recent average of polls is getting, get this, 27% support from them. Joe Biden at just 64%. And with those numbers, that's enough for any Republican to win. Um, by the way, we, you know, older uh, blacks are still going for Biden. We found wow. one of those old blacks in this video clip. <laughs> Watch this. Mike Extreme is banned books. Did you ever think if anybody over 30 years old could go through a period where we're banning books in America? They're trying to erase black history. We're going to write black history because it's American history. That's why I'm <laughs> proud to have the most diverse administration in history. 
that taps into the full talents of our country. And it starts at the top with the Vice President. On Memorial Day, I proudly stood with a black man. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. That's all it takes <laughs> to get some black votes. On Memorial Day, I proudly stood with a black man. They're all, let's vote for the rich white millionaire. Okay. So, you know, we were talking about, you heard that interview, can't treat black voters as a monolith. This age, age breakdown shows it. It shows that younger black voters are far less supportive of the president than older black voters. That's right. This is also cool because CNN is finally learning that you can't treat black voters as a monolith. They're going, we thought all blacks were the same. They're shocked to find out that uh, they're, they're going like, whoa, we didn't know um, you people think different. You people. Each other. What type of damage would that do to him in the Electoral College? Well, if you just took that into account and you didn't shift any other voters, take a look here in 2020, based upon the current apportionment, Joe Biden would win 303 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 235. But take into account that shift among black voters. Now, with just this shift among Smoke. black voters, Donald Trump Death wins in the Electoral College. 291 electoral votes Death to 247. Yep. Because Trump is now winning Biden, and the Democrats go, you know, the easiest way to reverse this is just trick all these gullible black voters into coming back and voting for mm -hmm. Biden. Yeah. That's going to be one of their big, they just launched a giant get out the black vote campaign because they think, hey, this should be the easiest low hanging fruit. We're going to go get them and get them back on the plantation, so to speak. Please. I think the young black voters are smarter than that. Yeah. I think yes. the young black voters are going, you know, this economy stinks. I don't feel like I have a future in this country because of what this guy is doing to this economy. That the states that shift are Arizona. Look at Georgia. Georgia, Pennsylvania, where Kevin is right now, and Wisconsin. That alone would do it. And that is why black voters are so pivotal to Joe Biden's chances mm, to win re-election. Okay. And I just want to break you. out those pivotal states because on my side, on the right side, everyone's going like, we got to we gotta fix the ballot box. We got to get the ballots and the ballots and the ballots. I'm like, oh no, guys, there's something much bigger afoot turning with Trump. You cannot make up for this amount of black votes that are shifting to Trump. Right. right. To, a, to a point that this was the only hope of flipping Arizona was getting this many young black votes. The, Georgia was already in there. Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, though, those two are almost always out of Trump's, uh, Trump's reach. You have Milwaukee and Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and uh, they're turning to Trump. Today, if Let's the go. numbers stick as is, Trump gets Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Washington. There is no electoral map that makes it possible for biden to win remember yep. guys we're going to start saying it now biden is no longer the democrat candidate they are not going to sit down and let him lose this nope. okay. that's why they're going to try biden to get michelle and, dead and uh, watch candidate all done or for gavin. him or gavin harry anton uh, alarms going off uh, on the democratic side a big opening for republicans that? <laughs> that is an alarm right there <laughs> oh, alarm. Absolutely. it's a it's a huge alarm it's spiraling it's ambulance it's police sirens it's any alarm you can think of that should be what's going off on the democratic side these numbers to be honest could be deadly to joe biden's campaign yeah and it's done because yep, he's not gonna be able down. to turn the economy around nope it's too late. what's he gonna do he can like try and jack up, give away money to college students. That doesn't help black voters, young black voters, watching him give away uh, rich white kids, uh, free college. They're going, uh, having him open up the Southern border. That's not helping black voters. They're going, they're, take, they're coming in and getting our jobs, our no college, low education, cheaper jobs. Mm -hmm. Suddenly they're gonna be without jobs. Um, you've already had just decades decades practically generations of the democrat party destroying the black family oh absolutely mm -hmm. and now we're going to see a change let's go trump is going to win this is part of the proof guys if you believe me give us a thumbs up say we still believe we still support trump I'm that's right in exile oh. we believe now, we Hava, still support trump for president let's Hava. go hold on what is it going oh. Well, <laughs> I, I I like that. I like how he, you know, and that was some of the, the statistics that I was looking at a day ago. Because you remember. I told you Bla he was destined. 
yeah, black people like have always been the Democrats' um, ace <coughs> in the hole. <clears throat> They have always been, black people have always been the ones they've been wanting. And like he said, they're like, man, black people starting to go for Trump. Forget these, screw these black people. Let's get these Hispanic people go over here and get them, give these illegal people everything you want so they can, we can get them voting. And um, they, they play the long game. They did. They were, they hit the long game with that. And it's not even when Trump gets in office, he can't really, he's not going to be able to, no matter how much what we think, some of that stuff that's in play, that's embedded in that one man can't make all that change in one term. There's a lot of things that have just come into play that will not be able to be reversed for like that. So but we just have to, um, such what a you pessimist. Have, but that's the truth. Well, there are things that I feel like will take a he little longer. He can't take all, he can't send out a, man, please. He's, we the people that have that. got in are a part of the economy now. We know, we know that. We know that. I'm not talking about that. I just feel like overall, he's definitely going to be able to make some significant changes. However, we need another four years to really, to do a course correct. Okay. I think he's going to be able to get us on the right track, get some things in place. People can get a little breather, you know. It may not be backstroking completely. Yeah. They just might be able to get their head and shoulders above water. Yeah. Because some folks is under. They got a they they got the little thing trying to snorkel, trying to breathe to get air. I mean, but I think it will give them some. It will give people a little bit more um, comfort because right now it's rough. What about Trump getting in office? Yeah, with of Trump course. getting in office. That's not that's what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. talking about some of these things that have been put in play prior. Like the a lot the amount of illegal people, some well, of these prices on on things, it's just going to keep. Well, going that's up. what I feel like is going to be shifted. Some I don't think we're going to go back to the all time lows where no. it was prior. I don't think you ever going to see your body wash back down to four dollars. No. <laughs> boo boo, sorry. Yeah. So, but who knows? He may be able to find a median. I just feel like we are going to definitely see some significant changes. But, you, but I think, I think you said eight it years that, that is, comfort, is going to really that put us feeling. on a complete course of course correction. But we're going to have some things to make some, some shifting. But like you said, right now, for everyone, it's the comfort of getting somebody in the office that cares about the that, people. That, that, Let's just say that. And that, and that, that. That loves the the things that people care about, and plus the thing if it, it if it is affecting the people as a whole, it's gonna it affects Trump's pocket too. So it has to go. Everything has to flow because money is spent when people are comfortable. And he cares about our country. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, he cares. I know about that, but I'm talking. I'm saying it from a businessman to another businessman. Yeah, I'm talking about by not straightening said, people, it affects your pocket. Of course, but you said you know someone who cares about you know uh, getting somebody in office that cares about making sure that their pocket yeah, is absolutely. also straight. I absolutely. get that because he's a businessman, but I'm just saying, you know, we truly want someone who cares about us and want to see the future of us contained within U.S. values and not shifted over to another leader's, you know, values because the World War Three has started and all this foolery, it you know, is. I mean, you know, it's just uh, so much. All right, man. 2024, be more. Talk less. We'll see you on the next one.